as mass channel i'm now answering question number four from the solomon b mechanics m1 selection or collection and this is question number two from my end of topic worksheet number two which is about constant acceleration um and this question has been requested by one of my students to answer for me to answer so i'm going to go through this question in detail it says a sports car is being driven along a straight test track. It passes the point O at time t equals zero, at which time it begins to decelerate uniformly. The car passes the points L and M at times t equals one and t equals four, respectively. Okay. Um, given that OL is 54 meters and LM is 90 meters, find the rate of deceleration of the car. I'm assuming they mean seconds here. All right, so it was assume it's seconds, one second and four seconds, this is meters. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little line here, which represents, oops, change the line a little bit, which represents the um, journey of the car along the straight line. All right, so it starts at O. And that's at t equals zero seconds. Um, and then it it starts to decelerate uniformly. So there's a, a constant acceleration, which is you know negative, all the way along, all right, this journey. And then it passes L at t equals one second. So after one second, it goes through the point L. Okay, so this is t equals one second. And then the point M at t equals four seconds. So let's put the point M here. This is when t equals four seconds. So that's part of its journey. Okay, the whole of this, in the whole of this section is going through a constant deceleration. So acceleration negative is going to be constant. Okay, so now um, it says, given that OL is 54 meters, so uh, let me just do this. So OL is 54 meters and LM is 90 meters, okay, which means the whole length is 90 plus 54. So I'll just put separate and write it together. So this is 90 meters, sorry, this is 54 meters. So OL is 54 meters, LM is 90 meters, which means O to M is 144 meters. It's the whole thing. Find the deceleration of the car. Okay, so what I need to do here is I need to um, think about what information I'm given, right? So I'm going to think about, um, you know, the only thing I know here is these distances and the times that it's going past these points. And um, I know that it has a constant deceleration the whole way, right? So because it has a constant acceleration the whole way, the acceleration is constant, I can use the SUVAT equations, okay, throughout the whole of this, you know, section. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to take the, the journey from O to L, all right, and I'm also going to take the journey from O to M, O to M. Because from O to L, there is a, uh, you can say that there's something that's the same in both of those from O to L and O to M, there's something that's the same. What, what's the same in here is the initial velocity. O to L and O to M starts with the same velocity. We don't know what the velocity is, but there is the same initial velocity in both of them. Okay, that will be common in both of these bits of information. So let's write down SUVAT for both of these. Let's look SUVAT for both of these. So I'm looking at SUVAT for, for both of these. So for O to L, the displacement is 54 meters. From O to M, the displacement is 144 meters. Okay, the initial speed is U here, and it's the same exact initial speed here. That's the same, the speed at O. Okay, it's the same in both of them. Now, so that, that that's, a, you can say the initial speed at O, the initial speed at O. Now, this is the velocity at L, and this is the velocity at M. Okay, because this is from O to L, this is O to M. So these are not the same, right? So these are not the same. So I'm not going to bother using this in my equations because it will be different in both of the equations. It won't, won't be representing the same thing. But the U in both of these are the same. They represent the same quantity. The speed at when time is zero. 
the acceleration is the same in both cases. It's that constant deceleration. And the time that it takes to go from O to L is one second. And the time it goes from O to M is four seconds. Right, so if I think about what I'm going to use here, I'm going to use S and U, because it's, it's common in both of them. I'm not going to use V, but I can use A, because it's common to both of them, and T. So those are what I can use in both of these, S, U, A, and T. So if I think about the formula that I can use, S, U, A, and T, you'll come up very clearly with S equals U, T, plus a half A, T squared. Okay, that formula will help us in this situation. So I'm going to use this formula and I'll for O to L I'll formulate one equation. So S is 54 equals U, which is we don't know, we'll call it I'll just call it U zero, U at zero, plus a half times A, which we don't know, times, and that's what we have to find, times T squared, which is one squared. So this leads us to the equation uh, 54 equals U zero plus a half a okay now what i'm going to do just make some more space here and from the second equation for the second information from zero o to m i can make um a formula 144 equals that's s equals u which again u zero times and this is times one by the way that's why we state as u this is times four this time plus a half times a, which is, we don't know, times four squared. So this time we have 144 equals four times u zero, plus a half times 16, which is eight a. So we have two equations here now, which we could try to solve simultaneously. What I'm gonna do first actually to this, I'm gonna simplify it. I'm gonna divide everything by four. Okay, so four into 144, goes okay four divided 144 divided by four is 36 so this is 36 equals four times u so divided by four sorry which is u zero plus um divided by four gives you two a so i've just divided everything by four because four goes into all of these terms so now I have the other equation is now 36 equals u0 plus 2a, and that's equation 2. Now, um, what I can do here is we want to find a so we can eliminate the u's. We can subtract the two equations. So I can do equation 1 minus equation 2. So you have 54 minus 36. Okay, so you have 54 minus 36. 54 minus 36, which gives us... 18 so you have 18 equals these cancel out and i've got a half minus 2 okay which is minus 3 over 2a so therefore i can say a is equal to i can multiply by 2 um so 2 times 18 over negative 3 okay i'm just 2 times 18 over negative 3 that gives you uh, minus 12 so A is equal to minus 12 meters per second squared. Now the question says, find the rate of deceleration. So we should write down in our answer because it's talking about deceleration, right? The answer is, we can say that the deceleration, therefore, deceleration is equal to 12 meters per second squared. Okay, because we don't, we don't mention it's negative because deceleration means negative acceleration, right? So the acceleration is negative 12, therefore the deceleration is 12. If I say to you, for example, um, the temperature dropped uh, by 3 degrees yesterday, you know, it's like if the temperature went down by 3 degrees, you don't say it went down by negative 3 degrees. The word, the word went down by implies it's gone down, so deceleration applies that the, the acceleration is negative. Okay, so that's why you don't put negative 12. You write it as 12 when you say deceleration. Then it says the car subsequently comes to rest at N. Find the distance MN. Okay, so now. So this basically, this car continues on until it stops at N. All right, and at N, its speed is equal to zero. At this point, the speed is equal to zero meters per second. All right, so we don't know anything about N. Okay, apart from its speed is zero. 
We don't know the time it reaches n, we don't know the distance and we have to find it. We also know the acceleration is negative 12 meters per second squared. We know that now. So the only information we have about n is its speed at n and its acceleration. So let's just write down what we know. I'm going to go from O to n. Let's think about O to n first and then I can think about m to n. So because I know something about O, um, well, I can work out something about O. I can work out the initial speed at O, right? So for O to N, we have SUVAT. Let's see what we have, what we can find for this. Okay, we need to find S. U is U0, which we don't know. V is 0 meters per second. We know that. Acceleration is negative 12. And the time, we don't know. Okay, we don't know, right? So the information we can... Um, maybe that will help us is if we find what u is. We find what the initial speed is. Now let's think about the initial speed because we know now we now know the acceleration is negative 12. So if we um, think about one of these equations, for example, let's think about from um, let's say from O to L. If we take O to L, we have S equals 54 meters. We have u equals what we're trying to find. V we don't know. A we know is negative 12. And the time we know is one second. Right? We have S. I have to find u. So I've got to use that. A and T. Now, what equation can I use here um, to find... I have S, U, A and T. I can use um, S equals U, T plus a half a t squared, right? S, U, A, and T. I can find what U is. I know S is 54. U is what I'm trying to find. T is 1 plus a half times negative 12 times 1 squared. So I have 54 equals U, 0, which I'm trying to find. And, and this is going to give me minus 6. So you can say that U, 0, is equal to 60 meters Per second so I know that this is 60 right and therefore I can find what s is and s is here going to be the distance from o to n it's not m to n it's o to n it's not my final answer but it's going to help me right so now let's see how I can find what um, this s is I have I have to use s u v and a okay so I can use v squared equals u squared plus v squared equals u squared plus 2as because I have all of these bits of information all right so um, that will help me find s so I have v is 0 u is um, 60 so that's 60 squared plus 2 times a which is negative 12 times s is what I'm trying to find initially uh, it's not a final answer but that's will help us find it so I'm going to have, that's going to be negative 3,600. So I've subtracted that from both sides. And divided by negative 24, and that gives me S. So S is equal to, so I have negative 3,600 divided by negative 24. So that's the same as 3,600 divided by 24. That gives me 150 meters. So 150 meters is the distance, okay, from um, O to N, okay? So the distance from O to N, which is all the way across from there to N, that's 150 meters. And we want to find the distance from M to N. That's what we're trying to find. So basically, it's going to be 150 minus 144, because 150 is all the way across to there. 144 is from O to M. So this part is going to be basically 6 meters, 150 minus 144. So we can say, therefore, therefore we can say MN is equal to ON o -N minus um, OM, okay, which is 150 minus 144, which is 6 meters. So that's the answer, all right, to part... B of this square, sorry about that.
true as well. Um, one of those questions where you have to um, be very careful about where you take your, you know, positions from. So, you know, from O to L, you've got to think about what is common at O and, you know, from O to L and O to M, what's common is the U. The V is not common. I can't use V in the same equation for both of these, but I can use U because the U at, in this situation is the same as the U in this situation. The acceleration is the same in both situations, right? So I couldn't use an equation from O to L and O to M using V because at L and M and, and N, unless I know what V is, okay, I can't use that as an unknown because I can't say the V here is the same as the V there, but I can say that the U here is the same as the U there, okay, because I'm starting from the same place. Things like that are very important for you to understand. So that completes question number um, four from this Solomon B paper. Other questions from this Solomon B collection, if you, um, you know, need to look at, you'll find the playlist over here for those that have answered. Other questions from this um, end of topic worksheet, okay, which is a constant acceleration one, will be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from the topic of constant acceleration, SUVAT, Kinematics in general can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.